Okay. So, hello. <laughs> hello. Good evening. <laughs> so, kindly introduce yourself. Please state your name, age, and how long you've been a Sunday school teacher. Uh, my name is Noemi Arastia, and I'm 51 years old, and we've been teaching kids about the gospel since 2016, since um, August 2016. Okay, so your Sunday school is called The Shepherd's Children, right? Yes. What inspired you to be a Sunday school teacher? I always wanted my children to um, know their Bible, to develop a really strong relationship with Jesus, and uh, to basically know uh, about the gospel. And I also wanted the same for young kids because I realized that it, the, the way to go is really to start them at a young age. So they, they develop an appreciation for the, the Bible stories, the, the, the gospel, and then the story of salvation. Then they'll bring it to them as they become adults. Okay, so with this being said, how do you define the word service? Service is when you use your your time, your abilities, your skills and talents uh, for the benefit of others. Okay. That's service. So, with that definition, how do you practice the Lasallian zeal for service if, in your position? Um, every Sunday, we talk about that specific gospel for uh, Sunday Mass. And what we do is we really try to communicate it in a way that the kids will understand so that they appreciate it, they uh, understand the message, and they're able to apply it in their lives. And also, we always tell them to share what they've learned in, um, during our session, share what they've learned with their siblings, even with their parents and their yayas, so that when they do that, our, 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 our service or our teaching is not limited to them but to the entire family as well. Okay, so with your wide scope, like your wide audience, and the fact that you do it every Sunday, has there ever been a time when you felt discouraged to continue serving? And if so, how did you overcome that? Um, there would be times when we have very few kids. I think the, the smallest number of kids would have would be four. There was one time we'd have like over 20. It really varies every Sunday. I mean, don't really expect uh, all the kids to come every time and um, so it can be discouraging when you have just a few kids but you know we even if it's just one we said we'll still teach you still are able to uh, have some kind of uh, relevance to one kid you've already more or less been able to achieve your goal at least for that day also sometimes when the teachers who are also moms like me are not able to come so sometimes it's just uh, the two of us and it I mean just me and another mom who managed the whole thing it can be quite difficult especially if you have very young kids who run around or like yeah. stop you know the whole time so it can be really a challenge but you know um, God's been very gracious towards us so there's always really somebody who who helps me uh, run the Sunday school week in and week out so how did you overcome the um it's just uh, um continuing to invite the kids to to join us during sunday school and continuing to encourage the moms to to join us every sunday and soon when the school year starts in, in june we'll be sending out invitations to other moms to join us so that hopefully we'll get more people on board our sunday school Okay, so since you mentioned that you encourage a lot of people to join and to serve, how mm -hmm. do you encourage others to embody service? Oh, well, when um, you're able to show them the kind of benefit that uh, comes out of what we do, if you're able to um, make people realize the importance of what we do, which is really spreading the good news, uh, teaching kids about Jesus, uh, so, I mean, laying down the foundation of their spiritual life, then uh, I, a good part of our work is pretty much done also in terms of sharing mm -hmm. the idea of service with others. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.